that statement was almost true. So the day after the wedding, we went out for a couple of drinks. Naturally, Ireland were playing. It was a Sunday. They were playing at 2 p.m. So we figured we'll make a day of it. The mojitos were flowing early. Um, we had to be up the next day, my wife and I, to fly to Sicily to go on honeymoon. So when you fly from Malta to Sicily, you can either fly at half six in the morning or you can fly at half eight at night. So we figured we'll just suck it up, get up at early, fly at half six, and then we can just pan out for the day in the sun in Sicily. So we got home that night, Sunday evening at about, Sunday evening, Sunday night at about 2 a.m. Um, and my wife got into bed and said to me, set an alarm so we don't miss the flight, which I thought I did. Um, and apparently I didn't miss the flight. Um, so she wasn't happy. It didn't work out too bad because we got the ferry that day. And in a funny twist, when we were standing in line to get on the ferry, my alarm went off. So <laughs> whoops. What's the point? Why am I telling you this story? Because you need to plan ahead. If we had a plan ahead, knowing we had that flight to go home earlier, um, chances are, that's, actually that's a lie, we probably still wouldn't have done that. But if I had set my alarm before I started drinking or before we went out, that definitely would have helped and we would have made the flight, which I did not do. So how does this apply to you and your weight loss? You need to plan ahead. Moms in particular, whether you have one kid or six kids, uh, your free time is limited and you might be working and doing other shit as well. So you really have to be organized got to plan your training whether it's three times a week or however many times you train or getting out for a half an hour walk each day you got to plan it plan your workout set it like an appointment treat it like a doctor's appointment nothing gets in the way make sure you get that time in for you and um, always cook extra food so anytime you get the chance to cook a healthy meal take advantage of it let's use a chicken stir fry as an example cook three four extra portions um it's no inconvenience for you to just put more in the pan or the wok or whatever you're using. Um, put them in Tupperware containers. Use them as meals for when you're stuck. The last one is prep food. So maybe you need to set a couple hours aside on a Sunday evening. Cook up a bunch of meat. Um, and it doesn't have to be that much effort. Just throw a bunch of meat in the oven. You can go off and then watch TV or do whatever you want. Come back. Prep up a load of salad bowls. Um, Pre-pack your smoothie ingredients in plastic bags. Uh, you can make like six smoothies and you can just take it out, pop it in, add some liquid. These are the things you have to do if you really want to get the results. Um, you need to be as organized in, as possible, especially for moms. Hope that helps, guys.